Now I've got a big buckle going on. Well, what's going to go on is I'm going to have to shrink that there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply that down. Okay, let's see. I don't want to bruise it that much, not really. Let's see if that's fitting down here. Got a buckle here, got to shrink it. I'm going to tack it on here and fit. see that our buckle is gone. It's feeling good right there. Feeling good. But we've got too much metal going over there because it's overlapped. Now I'm going to run the zip cut through it. I'm going to tack it. Nope, I'm not going to tack it yet. I'm going to run the zip cut through it.
take a little bit out of it all. The rest out of it. because I want to cool it off as I weld it. So let's just pack it in here. Now, you must admit, must admit, when I was putting that panel on, it had that big buckle there. It did not look good. Did not know, you know, whether it was going to work. Or not. I've done this so many times that. Just go over to where the buckle is. Get a clamp down. Get a buckle. Run the buckle to the certain area. You know, run, run, I ran this piece of metal that was put that high the whole way, and I ran that buckle right down to, to one point, and that's where you slice it in half. two-inch buckle shrunk it two inches probably there no doubt in my mind and uh, that's how easy it was 36 grit just rubbed over top it tried to flatten it out a little bit and you can come from the back side if you can see from the back side it's welded up solid so I was able to grind it off really good and I flushed it off really you know it was it, it was about welded together so you know I can grind it off no harm no foul and I did not take have to pull it back off to try to get it to work. <laughs> 